yeah this is the moment of truth and natural wisdom um it's very simple uh, all the christians in ghana and wherever they are they should stay away from temptations temptations and you know i'm trying to this these are some of the uh, basic basic common sense in the bible that people are supposed to you know grab right away is what i'm trying to say christians in ghana in particular or wherever they are they are supposed to stay away from all form of temptations and tempt every all form of temptations temptations is when somebody is telling you to prove yourself that you can do this for instance i'm telling people i can drive and somebody will come up and tell me that are there prove to me that it is true you can drive it means that person is tempting me to drive even though it was not my intention to drive the past that person is trying to tempt me to drive you see what i'm saying today whenever we go to school or even at work there are so many temptations uh, this is common sense now for the christians who want to go to heaven to be able to go to heaven you know you have to be blameless before you can qualify for heaven you cannot just go to heaven with with sin you see what i'm saying with with all these temptations that you are passing through every day you cannot make it to heaven the easy way or the only way for you to make heaven is to avoid all temptations that may lead you into sin <laughs> yeah the, it's in the bible god said thou shalt not test the lord thy god but god said again in job that he he only tests you when he loves you yeah, and then you can the, the only way you can also test god is to give god some money in malachi chapter 3 that is the only way you can test god but at the same time you know god said that shall not test thee that shall not test the lord thy god that shall not put the lord thy god to test but that same god in another news said you can test him only when you have money only when you have your third card the only way you can, the only time you can test god is with your tight with your third card envelope na yekufu soft one so for yekufu that is the only time you can test the lord i got <laughs> it's what i'm saying the lord want all christians to stay away from temptations temptation every temptation is an exam <laughs> Every temptation, you see, uh, when Jesus and Satan met in Matthew chapter 4, <laughs> Satan was trying to let Jesus prove himself that he is able to turn bread, turn a stone into a bread, and can jump high from the top of the building. You see what I'm saying? Satan wanted jesus to prove himself that is an examination right there that is so jesus is being robbing all the time jesus is been jesus then he met satan and satan said master too much make you turn this stone to be bread so that we all share you see what i'm saying because they were all hungry <laughs> turn this stone to be bread and then jesus said it's man shall not live by bread man shall not live by bread alone because he he couldn't he failed that jesus he failed that exams you see, it's a very simple test that satan was giving out by that time satan was like an exam officer like a wayek officer so, so all your wayek officers they are acting as satan in your lives if you don't know all your teachers who are printing exam questions for you in schools you do your terminal exams 
your semester exams in schools all your teachers are acting the role as they, they are acting as satan they are all satanists it's a church of satan it's a establishment of ghana because you have a lot of satanists in ghana right now and the christians should be very very vigilant if they really want to make heaven they should be very 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 vigilant because we have a lot of satanists oh my god we have a lot of satanists in ghana right now <laughs> now jesus because he couldn't turn the stone to be bread before satan because satan will not allow you to cheat there are some teachers or exam officers like wayak officers they are very straight they will not even allow you to turn your head to cheat satan was right there and he didn't he didn't want jesus to cheat so in that case jesus was not able to perform the miracle before satan somebody who satan is your they said satan is the greatest enemy of jesus and god and jesus should have proved himself before satan that he can do it so that satan will be ashamed even before satan now he couldn't do it and now you are in church paying money to your pastor and you are requesting jesus to kill satan for you even when he met satan i'm a guardian i'm a guest here any woman be in the presence of satan jesus couldn't do miracles <laughs> look at the satan of the dear girl you should sit down and you read about this satan read about satan then you will develop your love for satan because satan is not an easy easy guy <laughs> in the presence of satan jesus could jesus was powerless jesus couldn't do any miracles read your bible at messiah metanfo metanfo no se me yobo inti min chira na dia kakra esa me esa me chira me silence no jesus couldn't silence satan when they met one on one then you tell him, he said, well, you know, he died and he is going and he is coming back. <laughs> this is very funny, dude. <laughs> now, today when you go to school, because your teacher is acting as Satan in school, your teacher will also give you an exams. And they will say, oh, you are doing agri agricultural studies. Uh, what, how do you produce cocoa? And then you're gonna tell your teacher that say you're gonna write on your exam paper that say man shall not live by cocoa alone. You see, at that point you are getting zero. <laughs> if you follow Jesus, you are getting zero. You, 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 you get the concept, right? Satan said, Jesus, I know you've been you what to call and actually why you are watching. Then for a boy a panel, and Jesus said. Man shall not live by bread alone. Now you are also in school. You are in the university. You are doing crop, you know, rotation or crop farming. Your teacher said, Kwaku, yeah. Uh, you see how they, they print the questions out? Can you please briefly describe how you grow cocoa? Then you're gonna write on your exam paper or a perfect example. You will go to the lab and they will give you a seed and the soil and they will tell you to nurse cocoa and you grow cocoa. And you're gonna tell your teacher in the exam in the lab that say, man shall not live by cocoa alone. Meanwhile, in the morning, you drink tea. You drink milo before you go to school. And you're going to tell your teacher that a man shall not live by cocoa alone. Your teacher is going to give you zero. Because why? You failed the test. So Jesus failed the test when he met Satan. And Satan overcame Jesus. Let us face the fact. Satan wanted Jesus to turn the stone. To, to be bread forget about the jumping and stuff just uh, turning the stone make this stone bread so that we all eat it we friends we can share it together in unity a 
and Jesus said, Man shall not live. We don't have. Maybe Satan was hungry and he needed bread. Jesus couldn't prove Satan wrong. You see what I'm saying? Let us be very smart. So today, all Christians, I am challenging you all to stay away from temptations. So when you go to school, your teacher gives you an exam. Don't do it because you are a Christian. Every exam that you are doing in your school is a temptation. And that shall not fall into any temptations. <laughs> Every exam in school is temptation. You know, Satan wanted Jesus to prove himself that he can do the job. Your teachers, the same way they want you to also prove yourself in the exams that when you get out there, you will be able to do better things. You will be, be able to work. You will be able to apply your knowledge. So in that case, they have to give you an exams in school. So every exam it's a temptation. If you don't know, I am telling you. That shall not fall into temptations. And I love God. Oh my God. You running away from temptation because you love God. But the teacher, the teacher gave you an exam question in school. You, and you solve it all. And you got about 90%. And you said, oh, thank you, Jesus. You've helped me pass this exam. Jesus helped you pass your exam. And he couldn't even pass the exams that Satan gave to him. You give it unnecessary praises to somebody who doesn't exist. <laughs> is what I'm saying. Yeah. The Christian is happy that he passed the BEC. He passed the WASI. And he got seven A's. And then he is going to the university. Yeah. You are happy you are going to the university through exams. But your Bible wants you to stay away from temptations. And every exam is temptation. Every examination in school is a temptation before the Lord thy God. And thou shalt not fall into temptations. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's be true where they talk. Every exam from KG1, KG2, KG4, all the way up to university, every exam is a temptation. Every exam that you are doing is a temptation before the Lord thy God. So how do you expect to make heaven? So they don't even want you to have anything to do with this, with the material things on the, in this world. The material things in this world, stay away from them. One of them is exams in school. Stay away from material things. Therefore, never naked. Said Adam, if we are naked, but you have to be naked. Just like Adam and Eve. You don't need anything. Now, so for one for the dear man, if you could do. Yes, we hear she was as this one. Atadia Kahu. Yes, we hear she. Ka, a Kahu, Tiam Fruka. What are they recording in our material things? So, all the top, top engineers, the most of them are Satanists. Baby, in a church of Satan. What are they? And if you really want to make it to heaven, trying to stay away from all the material things in this world so that you will be very clean. I hope everything is, everybody is getting this very, very clear. It's very clear. The picture is clear. It's staying away from temptation. It's the same as staying away from every examination in school. Because every exam is a temptation. And your teachers and the Wayak officers, they represent Satan. Yes. I love you all. Medimu Besuya. Why? This is not going to be a very long, it's very short. Let us sit down and reason. Let us sit down and reason. Thou shalt not put the Lord thy God to test. 
But the only time you can put the Lord thy God to test is when you have your tight card, when you have your check in the church, when you are signing your check in the church, signing check in the church for the pastors. That is the only time you can test the Lord thy God. <laughs> yeah, I love you all. This is the moment of truth and natural wisdom. Read your Bible. After reading the Bible for 13 times, I knew everything in the Bible. After reading the Bible for 13 times, yeah, I know everything. 2017, I said I'm a catch away. 27, back in 2017, I'm a carry Bible 13 times. <laughs> I Christians cannot read the Bible. They've not even, I, I know even with your pastor, your pastor has not been able to read Genesis. He has not been able to complete the book of Genesis. But he is your pastor and he receives money from you all the time in the name of God. <laughs> Let us get serious, guys. I love you all. This is the moment of truth. I salute. Yeah, more Ethio, more Montata, so forth. More uh, Ghana, my name I've been receiving some messages about Baby Maxon. Me room fee, me room fee. Oh, me me I'm rushing. You need to do my family. Don't do not rush. Baby Maxon, case no. Me basu. Said date no. I can't carry us. Ghana for more you want to do. Ask oh my God. <laughs> I said, I'm there February now, so I could have said, I'm going say, Oh, my God, I'm for okay. I remember, so I.